girl natural nini welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be junior advice advice for the upcoming juniors for this school year the first reason why i'm doing this video is to help the sophomores who is going into junior year and they don't know what to expect and the second reason why i'm doing this video is because today is my two-year anniversary of being on youtube so last year um for my anniversary i did freshman and sophomore advice so this year i decided to do junior advice so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with this video tip is not really a tip but it's actually a known fact so 11th grade is considered to be the hardest year of high school I guess it's considered to be the hardest year because you have to take the ACT test and then senior year you have to take the SAT um I didn't get to take the ACT I really don't think any junior got the chance to take the ACT because everybody's school year got cut short thanks to coronavirus. So that's really kind of why I think 11th grade is considered hard. And it's so much work that is piled on you for 11th grade. I really don't know why all these teachers giving us all this work because we know we have to graduate. We know we have to have 22 credits in order to graduate. So, 11th grade really is hard because for my junior year, August and September was not really as hard as the other months, but 11th grade is definitely hard. And I really hope my senior year is better than my junior year because like I just said, my junior year ended really, really short. Um, now the rest of these are tips. So the second tip is to stay focused they there are really a lot of distractions that can really catch you off guard and throw you off of your work like not just junior year, but freshmen sophomores and seniors they there are a lot of distractions that can really just throw you off so stay focused and just base make sure that you get your work done third tip it's kind of like the same as the second one don't get distracted because you want to make sure you earn all 22 of your credits so you can graduate on time you really don't want to fool around and mess around um and not turning your work and um basically stuff with your work on time so you want to make sure that you do not want to get distracted the fourth tip is to start applying for colleges. Now, personally, I did not do this because I already know the college I wanna go to. I'm staying right here in my hometown. I'm not going out of state to any college, but it's always good to start applying for colleges um, junior year instead of senior year because you can get accepted really, really early. And then when you graduate high school and you start college in the fall, you already know um, what college you're going to. So that's already one um, weight that's lifted off your shoulder. So it's always good to start applying for colleges junior year. The fifth tip, turn in your work on time. This really goes for any school grade, but it's really, really, really important for junior year because junior year is really really hard and most of the time some teachers are really not going to give you second chances so you want to make sure that you do the work you do the work right 
and that you turn it in on time because like i just said they're not gonna give you second chances and if you just end up getting an f on that assignment that's your fault because you didn't turn in the work on time so just make sure you turn in your work on time the sixth tip relationships can be a big distraction it can really be a big distraction because if your relationship if your high school relationship is not stable you're going to be worried about your significant other really what they're doing and then believe it or not um the people who talk about you and your relationship because if your relationship is not stable you're going to be more worried about that than your schoolwork so personally i'm about to be a senior and I haven't had a high school relationship and I'm not really looking forward to having one for senior year because I'm trying to focus and graduate. But if you are going to be into a relationship, just make sure it's stable um, because that's going to be a huge distraction. My seventh tip, fake friendships. This can also be a distraction too because friendships in high school they're not a hundred percent true the only way you're really gonna have a true friendship or true friendships in high school is if you were rocking with somebody from elementary or middle school and you trust them you know they got your back you know that they're not gonna turn on you because these high school teenagers they will turn on you in a heartbeat because they really don't care about your feelings or you. They just really trying to make themselves look good. So I do have a few close friends, but I'm not buddy buddy with everybody because everybody at my school is not my cup of tea. And everybody at my school for the most part does way too much. So if you're gonna be in a friendship, just make sure that that friend is the one for you. Um, because you really don't want to have a fake friendship because sometimes going through high school without friends can be really lonely and um, you really want to make sure when you're going through high school that you want to have that support system um, that's around your age so just make sure you choose your friends wisely um the eighth and ninth tip is kind of the same just a little bit so the eighth tip the eighth tip is boys and the ninth tip is girls y'all probably wondering what is she talking about well what i mean by boys and girls they can be a huge distraction as well because also also during high school years that's when teenagers start to develop feelings for others and when you start to like somebody um first off you're kind of scared to approach them because you may not know what to say and to be honest a lot of the relationships that goes on in my school they don't last long and i really don't think high school relationships last long um but you just want to make sure you want to choose your boyfriend or girlfriend wisely because not everybody out there is truthful to you so you really don't want your heart broken because if you get your heart broken in high school it's really going to put a damper on things because you're really thinking oh this girl or this boy really liked me and i'm not trying to be mean or anything but a lot of high schoolers or teenagers, they kind of play with each, each other's emotions. So you really don't want to get your heart broken. So just make sure you choose your boyfriend and your girlfriend wisely. My 10th tip, do not try to fit in. I really feel like a lot of teenagers in high school really try to fit into the wrong crowds because if you fit into the wrong crowd, it's gonna lead you down the wrong road. And when you graduate high school, you want to be successful, you want to make it in the world. And so if you end up getting with the wrong crowd, 
it's just not gonna look good for you and personally i don't i don't try to fit in at all i really just kind of stay to myself with the little group of friends that i do have um i don't try to fit into the big crowds because i know they're not for me i know what they're doing is something that i don't want to do or be around so just make sure don't try to fit in because what the next person is doing that's not really what you should be doing as well and that's kind of really just following in their footsteps they're just basically leading you on so don't try to fit in because in the end if it's bad it's not going to turn out good for you my 11 tip stay on top of your school work and your homework if you do not stay on top of this like i think i said um back in tip number five if you do not stay on top of your schoolwork and your homework your grades are really going to go down and grades and gpas are really 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 important for junior year so you want to make sure you do your work um you want to make sure you do it right and turn it in on time because you're not going to get any second chances really unless the teacher Themself, um, is really nice human being. They might um, feel sorry for you and give you a second chance. So just make sure you want to turn in your schoolwork and your homework on time and stay on top of that stuff. Um, my twelfth tip is to maintain good grades. So I ended my junior year with A's and B's, but. You want to make sure you want to stay on top and maintain those grades because if you were to get an F um, on a quiz test or an assignment, it's really hard to come back from F's, especially low F's. Like anything, any F that's below, I think, a 50 or a 40, it's really, really hard to come back from those low type of grades so just make sure you want to maintain um in the a range the b range and the c range is not really that bad but d's and f's those are the hardest to come up from so just make sure to maintain good grades my 13th tip if extra credit is offered you better take it and run with it like it's a million dollars because extra credit can bring up those D's and F's and they can bring you up, they can bring you up a whole letter grade. And that can definitely change and improve not only your GPA, but also your grade for that class. And not a lot of teachers give extra credit. Um, but when I was a junior, my history teacher would always give us extra credit and I would always take it even though um, in her class I always had an A but I just wanted to make sure that my grades was up but honestly I really like taking extra credit especially in the classes that's super hard like in English class and algebra class those two classes were really the hardest ones for me so whenever they offered extra, extra credit you already know I had to take it to get those grades up. But if extra credit is offered to you, please take it. My 14th tip, stay away from high school or from school activities. I'm talking about like cheer team, um, football team, basketball team, baseball, whatever um, team is at your school. Just make sure, try to stay away from it because you're on a team, you're representing your school. You have to make sure that you stay out of trouble. Don't be getting into fights. Don't be getting involved in drama. And you have to make sure that you keep your grades up because you're representing the school, like you're wearing the school colors. So um, if you're gonna be in those type of activities, just make sure that your grades are good, that your reputation is good, because you do not want to look bad for your school at all. My 15th and final tip. Oh, what? Tip. 15th and final tip. Stay away from drama. P. 
people in high school they just they are so messy like i don't understand why high schoolers are so messy like all they want to do 24 7 is stir up trauma like that's really kind of sort of what they life is based around they just want to stir up drama get people in trouble embarrass people and it's really bad because it looks bad on them because it looks like they the messy one they always want to start something they always trying to make somebody look bad and feel bad and personally there is a lot of drama that goes on at my school so i stay away from it because i don't have time to be getting into trouble and get suspended or expelled or called to the principal's office or getting into a fight because ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that so stay away from drama and if you know some messy people at your school they like to start stuff stay away from them and i don't be involved in drama so if you can please stay away from drama for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i did get a little bit tongue-tied but i think overall this video was pretty good if you guys think the same thing give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and help me reach 300 i'm on the road to 300 subscribers my current subscriber count right now is 243 so i'm almost there and comment down below what grade you are going to be in for this upcoming school year share my channel and help me reach 300 and i will see you guys in my next video bye